What's up, YouTube? I guess I'm going to just throw together two video, real quick videos today. Um, I know some people, or some of you have watched some of my other videos, and I had some different equipment. Um, so I'm just going to talk about some of the stuff I've upgraded recently, and whether if I'm happy or if it made a big difference or not. Uh, first off, let's look at the TV. Uh, the TV, I, I went from, I believe it was an XBR 65 uh, 800D. And it was a decent TV until it got some upgrades. Uh, some firmware upgrades kind of slowed everything down. It was an Android-based TV. Um, it was a pretty good TV. I have it in the boys' room right now. Um, but it was it was a decent TV. So moving to this LG C9 OLED. Um, man, this TV is awesome. Um, are they expensive? Yes. Is it if you watch you like watching movies, you like playing your video games? Doing that kind of stuff, this TV is well worth it. It, I mean, it's just it's awesome. The picture's awesome. Um, you know what? Let me switch to. Uh, let me go to my Plex. Let's get out of here. So let's just click on Plex. Of course, I have this set up to my Synology 918 down there where I store all my movies. Um, because I rip all the movies that I have. My 4K movies, I ripped them. Um, so let's just throw a movie on real quick. This is Alita. Let me turn everything down though. So, But the picture is just, I don't know, it's incredible. I mean, I know obviously you can't get the uh, effect completely from a YouTube video. But it's just amazing. So this TV... Would I do it again? Absolutely. I actually got this at a, a pretty good deal. Um, I got got it from Best Buy. I ended up getting the warranty. Uh, as far as I know, the warranty uh, for OLED TVs, the only one that will that will cover burn in on an OLED is the Best Buy warranty. So I got it. Um, so I'm happy with that. So we can move on from that. We'll just let this play right here. But uh, so I ended up. If we point down a little bit here, it's kind of to see. But I, of course, I have my den in. Um, actually, let me let me pull this off of here, the tripod. Let me get a little closer. So I did upgrade some of this stuff right here. Let me. Uh... All right, so I ended up did getting this uh, right here, this UPS. Um, it has a battery backup, so I have my server and stuff connected to it for the battery backup. And I have some of my electronics here hooked up to it. Um, I really should make a video about that but by itself, but let's move on. So, of course, I still have the 918, and I have the DirecTV receiver. <clears throat> I did upgrade this to the 2019 NVIDIA Shield model. <clears throat> and that was a worthy upgrade just for the remote by itself. The old remote on the 2017 model... It was horrible. So, but we'll, we'll get into that here in a second. And then, of course, I got the Series X. And then I did end up getting this. Um, it's a five-channel amplifier. And it's actually worked great. I mean, I've had no issues with it. And, of course, I have the Denon. Um, so, this is just some of my equipment. Of course, I still have the, you know, all of the speakers and stuff that I had from before. But, um, so let's just come back, back over here. And let's just talk about some of the things real quick. Um, so the TV, okay, awesome. The uh, one thing I will say about that, um, getting a, with my setup, getting an amplifier. When I hooked up that amplifier, it didn't make a humongous difference. Did it make a little bit of difference, especially with music? Yeah, it did. Um, so if you listen to a lot of music, getting an amplifier, I guess, would probably be, you know, decent idea. If you just watch movies, pretty much, the, the Denon, I mean, there's not a big difference. I went back and forth and, you know, um, is there a little bit of difference? I guess, uh, yeah, but not a huge difference. Do you have to get an amplifier if you have uh, one of these better receivers like this Denon I have? It's an X4500H. Uh, Probably not. Um, but I will say this. <laughs> The day before I got my amplifier in, the Denon had an issue with the power supply or something. I ended up having to send it off. Um, 
It ended up taking, I, was, I didn't have it for about a month. Was that frustrating? Yes. Did Denon do what it was supposed to do and covered it and parts and everything? Yes. You know, er, everything went smoothly. I shipped it to them. It was a, a company probably about 250 miles away from me down in LA. They shipped it back. Everything worked. It's It's been perfect ever since. Um, so obviously you're going to have issues with some electronics, how the company takes care of you when you have an issue, in my opinion, is really what the company is all about. And, and if they take care of you, that's really all that matters. So good experience. But as far as needing an amplifier, hmm, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but it does make a slight difference. Um, the, the sound and everything basically it just reproduces what the Denon was outputting. I didn't really notice any difference from the sound too much. Uh, sounded good before. Sounds great now. Um, so that's as far as that. Now that Nvidia Shield, the 2019 model is. Uh, let's see if I can throw this in here. So you, it comes with this remote, and the old remote was. Let's just say it. It was garbage. Um, complete garbage. I think even in one of my videos, you hear me sliding my finger because I'm trying to turn the sound up and down. It just never worked. The The 2019 model is way better. Um, matter of fact, let's get out of this and let's go into, um, let me see. You can go to the settings in it. So now this supports, uh, let's see, is it here? Display, I think it's here. So let's go, let me move this up a little bit. So see now it supports Dolby Vision, uh, set to 4K60, ACR10, but um, the Dolby Vision thing is kind of a it's kind of a big deal. I mean it isn't it isn't. ACR10 is fine, but just the fact that it supports Dolby Vision is is uh, that's a good thing. Let me turn this back down a little bit. Um, so is it is it worth investing into the 2019 Nvidia Shield? I would say so. It does do some AI upscaling, which in some instances it works good. In other instances, it's not all that great. Um, but you know, it is what it is. But as far as uh, you know, everything else, they're close to the same. Um, I don't want to start rambling here, but. The effect, the, just the remote, I want to say just the remote alone, to me, it was worth an upgrade. I sold my old one. There's, there, those things are, they're like gold, I guess. Uh, you, they're never in stock. You can't find them. So I ended up selling my 2017 model for, I think, 150 and I paid 200 for this one. So, worthy upgrade, in my opinion. Um, the Dolby Vision, you get the remote. It, you know, I would I say it's faster, maybe a tad, tad bit. Seems pretty close to being about the same, though. Um... But the TV, the upgrade for the TV and um, the NVIDIA show have made a world of difference. I do like the fact that, because I actually had some power outages here in California. They do rolling blackouts and crap sometimes. Um, that did save my server. That kept it up. That works uh, works pretty good. I got that from Costco uh, on a slick deal. If anybody knows what that is, it was pretty cheap. I think I paid like 140 for it, 139 something like that. It's a 1,000 watt. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I think it's a 900 watt total uh, that it'll basically run. It's capable of. It gives you a little readout right there. It tells you how much watts. You could change that though, but you can see right here. It kind of tells you uh, 315. You know, to, it's telling you how much watts it's pulling at one time. And I have the TV, uh, Xbox. Basically, most of that stuff. The only thing I don't have connected to it is the amplifier and. Um, I think my subwoofers, of course, you know, with the subwoofers connected to that thing. Those are connected to a dedicated 20 amp circuit that I have ran back to my panel. But um, anyways, this is just kind of a quick video about the upgrades. The TV is a huge upgrade. Is it a big investment? Yes. If you if you love watching movies, you love playing video games, and you have this, like a Series X or a PlayStation 5 or something like that, I would definitely say... Uh, these TVs are worth it. They just look beautiful in every sense. The black levels. You watch in a dark room. When I watch a movie with the family. And we turn most of the lights off. It just. It, the presentation of it. Because of I think the full black. It just looks awesome. You don't have the bars like looking gray at the top. Or anything funny like that. Just everything just looks and works awesome. With this TV. It's had a couple of firmware updates. I know that they were having issues with the. Um 
something to do with the HMI 2.1 and the new graphics cards for computers or whatever. But I never had none of those issues because I wasn't dealing with that. But as far as the Xbox, uh, and like a, another video I just released, but uh, if you have some flickering issues, once I got that taken care of, the TV is amazing. And the 77 inch size for, I think for my house right here, is actually perfect. Any bigger is too big, any smaller. You know, and I just got a regular size living room. But um, anyways, just trying to give an update about some of this equipment that I've had recently. If you have any questions about uh, any of the stuff I have, just leave them down in the comments below. And uh, hopefully everybody stays safe out there. And uh, with all this COVID crap going on. And uh, just, hey, try to live your life as best you can. Uh, signing off. Peace.